the main reason I wanted to talk to you guys, uh, besides social distancing and besides washing your hands and having good hygiene, is, you know, maybe even wear a mask. We, I mean, wear a, a glove. We've got these in our office when you come in. Um, you can buy a box of these for, you know, five bucks. When you come in to get your mask, they're going to come in packs like this. Uh, and... Um, there's been some confusion on how to wear them, so I want to show everybody how to wear them, even with my, uh, my COVID hair here. We've just been telling people to just pull these up down over your head, but lately the World Health Organization and the CDC um, and FDA has come out with some studies that say bandana-type uh, face coverings don't work that well. Um, it's better to have multiple layers of, of uh, cloth. The more layers, the better, um, to a point, obviously, if you're having a hard time breathing, then you got too many layers. But, so what I wanted to show you guys today, I did this once before and my demonstration wasn't that great, so I wanted just to show you guys again how, how to double this over and then stick as many layers of, of other cloth, old T-shirt or whatever as you want in there, so. When you, when you take it out of the uh, package, it'll look like this. Go ahead and turn it inside out, and then just pull it over your head about halfway, and then roll it down, okay? Now, you've got at least two layers, and that should be good. But if you want more protection, just get an old T-shirt and cut out some little square claws. And guess what? They'll just go right in here, and you can put as many layers as you want in there. You can get a, a coffee filter. Uh, even better, get get an unbleached one if you can, because the unbleached ones, uh, they don't use any bleach, and so it, the bleach doesn't go down into our uh, water aquifers, and it doesn't go down into our uh, storm system sewer uh, uh, runoff, and so uh, you know it's just better for the environment. Uh, get the unbleached. Anyway, so just take the coffee filter, if that's all you got, and just stick it up here, and there you go. Now you got two layers here plus two layers of coffee filter. Uh, so you, there's lots of things. You can take a paper towel. Uh, you can take a paper towel. You can take a napkin. Uh, just anything you got. Um, so the, the age of people dying is coming down, the age of people being hospitalized is coming down, but the amount of people being hospitalized is going up, and the spread is just going spreading exponentially. Um, so obviously we're not doing enough. People are not wearing their masks, or they're not social distancing, or they're not doing good hygiene, or they're not wearing gloves. So. Um, anyway, um, I, I don't want to come across like I'm lecturing. I just main, mainly just wanted to fill you guys in about how to use the masks uh, properly and to get as much protection as you want and then remind you to just come by our office, uh, 1201 3rd Street, Corpus Christi. Um, we're going to be giving away some in the Valley also in McAllen and Brownsville and in um, San Antonio, but uh, we'll, we'll post those. But if you're in Corpus uh, or the surrounding counties, uh, 8 to 5 next week, Monday through Friday, every day. So we got 10,000 masks. You don't need to rush to get yours or stand in line. Also, when you do come to our office, uh, please maintain social distancing. And if you already have a mask, you know, wear, wear that if you can, and then you can grab, uh, you know, two more masks. Uh, but if you don't have a mask, then I know some people, some people don't or they lost theirs or whatever, then come in and get yours. But... Please social distance. Uh, but if you have any questions or anything, uh, you know, uh, shoot us an email or uh, at help at hermanherman.com or, or post on Facebook. Anyway, uh, everybody be safe, and uh, we'll see you next week. And I guess that's it.